guys, I'm Hendo, and today I'm making the Potion of Fire Breath, based on the potion from Dungeons and Dragons. Every month I make a different prop and cocktail based on a different potion from D&D. And this is my fifth one. The Potion of Fire Breath lets you deal 46 fire damage, and it's orange, flickering, and smoky. I'm not really able to accomplish the smoke effect, but it is going to be orange, and it's going to flicker with some tea lights. I also decided to make it look like cracked lava. So yeah, let's build a thing! I definitely want my potion to flicker like fire, and luckily I have these cheap tea lights. The first thing I'm gonna do is take off that plastic flame part with just a simple strength check. My bottle is pretty big, so it looks like five of these little tea lights will fit right under it. The next thing I'm gonna do is make a base for all of the lights to sit in and to meet the volume of my bottle. I don't have thick enough EVA foam, and I'm in quarantine, so gluing together all the layers it is. Once I've glued all of those layers together, I can go ahead and dremel it down. This way all of the lights fit super securely and very smoothly. I also tried seeing if the base would look better with just holes for the lights, but it really dimmed how much light came through, so I didn't end up going with that. I also tried seeing if aluminum foil would help bounce the light around, but it didn't make much of a difference. So I'm just gonna leave this bad boy bare, and it's gonna have to flicker in the dark. <laughs> Now I'm gonna glue them all in place, making sure that all the switches are towards the center. I'm gonna wrap the lower part of the bottle in foam and attach that to the base, sort of like a beer cozy. I want the sides to sort of look molten or like cooling lava. Once I have this sized, I'm gonna go ahead and tape it in place. I'm not gonna glue it to the base yet because just in case I make a mistake or something. Now I'm gonna start cutting the top all jagged so that it kind of looks like broken stone. Once that's done, now I'm gonna glue it to the base, but just the base and not the bottle. It's gonna be a lot easier to seal and paint if it's not attached to the bottle yet. And now it's time to cut a bunch of little rocks to glue to this cozy. Cutting rock shapes is super easy. Basically, just cut apart a bunch of little chunks of foam. Then take your scissors and hack at the edges in random places. It really helps if you vary the amount that you angle your scissors. You kind of want the sides to have three edges in some place instead of just two. I also think it's helpful to fold some of these chunks in half and then cut a little dent into the rock, since not all rocks have a nice, smooth, flat surface. Once you try it on a few, you'll get the hang of it pretty quickly. And I'm just gluing them all down to the sides, kind of like a mosaic. It's really fun and cathartic. I did this on stream and I must have said a thousand times how much fun it was. Maybe it's just because quarantine's kind of boring, but I think it's nice. Once the sides are all covered with rocks, I'm going to cut that jagged top and make it match where all of my rocks are. And now I'm going to add some rocks to the glass bottle. I basically want the cracks between the rocks on the cozy to match how the liquid is going to look underneath the rock on the glass. It's kind of hard to explain. Also, the bottom of the glass has this thick portion where there's just glass and there isn't going to be any liquid there. So that's also why I'm making the cozy to hide the fact that there's not actually going to be any yellow there. So anyway, I'm going to cut a few more rocks to add to the bottle right above the cozy. I'm making a little bit asymmetrical because I like how that looks and it'll help me keep track of exactly where the cozy should be placed. And these I am gluing just directly onto the glass, I'm going to seal and paint them separately from the cozy. I'm going to use Flex Bond instead of Plasti Dip because I don't want to tape off all of the edges of the rocks. Flex Bond is basically glue, so it dries clear. So it won't matter too much if I get a little bit on the bottle. Okay, and we're going to time skip the cozy because uh, it's like really hot in LA now and I didn't want to go outside and film everything. So here it is, sealed, primed, and painted. For me, it's going to be easier to paint the rocks black than it will be to paint the little cracks in between them, so that's why I've gone with an orange base coat. We'll paint the rocks last because they're easy. So first I'm going to paint the more exposed portions of the cracks a little bit yellow, and then on top of that, a little bit of a whiter yellow. This is so that it looks like it's glowing. And here's how that looks so far. Now I'm going to go in and paint all of the rocks black. And I'm adding a really dark gray to the front surface of each rock too. This will add a little bit of dimension, but it's not going to be super noticeable. It's like sneaky dimension. So here's how that looks so far. The last thing I'm going to do is make the edges of all of these rocks pop just a tiny bit. So I'm adding gray to some of the rock edges. And now they pop just the right amount. I'm doing that all around the cozy, and I'm going to do the exact same thing to all of the rocks on the bottle. Woo! This is how it's looking. I think it looks really good. Now we can finally lock in that cozy. I'm gonna add barge to the inside around all of the sides and hot glue directly on the bottom. Just sticking it in and making sure that all of the rocks line up. Easy peasy. For the liquid, I'm using this body wash that's already colored. It's bubbly and that's really gonna help bounce the light around in there. But it could afford to be just a little bit more orange. So I'm adding some orange dye, then just pouring it into the bottle. I tried to use the funnel, but the mouth was too small, so I'm just using a plastic bag and that's working out pretty well. 
Then I'm adding my second bottle of soap and I'm actually not gonna dye this one so that it fades from like orange to light orange or yellow. You know me, I like my ombres. And here's a light test with it all filled. It looks really cool. Now it's time to decorate the cork. I don't really have a plan for this, I just know that I kind of want it to be black so that it matches the rocks. So I'm cutting out some leather straps and just kind of fiddling around with it. I already have this like strap with two claspy hook things, I don't know what those are called. And I thought that would be really cool to have the cork sort of clasp onto the bottle. I apparently wasn't really filming the process, here's like a little bit of me fiddling around with it, but I, I guess I was just distracted on stream, I'm sorry. <laughs> The last step is to make a little label. I already have these gift tags, but I'm gonna burn all of the edges to keep it extra on theme. Which I also wasn't super recording, but here's, here's like the last little bit of me making the surface a bit more burned. And now I'm just writing fire breath on it. And I'm gonna attach that label with a little bit of brown suede cording. Ooh, it's a thing now! Here it is, all finished. And that's it for the Potion of Fire Breath. And this is my fifth one, so here it is next to all of my other potions too. I'm gonna have so many of these, I can't wait to see them all together. If you're interested in the drinkable version of this potion, you can also check out my cocktail video. Next month is gonna be the Potion of Elemental Resistance. I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna do one rainbow potion or if I'm gonna do like 10 different potions with each element. The way it works in D&D is that the DM picks the element that you're resistant to, but I'm just, I don't know, I think I might like the look of 10 different little potions rather than one rainbow one, but I'll probably end up doing both because I'm in quarantine, so I don't, I don't know what you can do. So yeah, let me know if you have any opinions about that. Um, I really like reading the comments, so share whatever you feel like that's D&D related in there. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for being crafty with me, and roll high!